He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, yeah. baby. All right, six minutes after the hour, y'all. Gary has the T and the color of the day. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Y'all remember recently we talked about Chris Brown was being sued, y'all, because they're saying um, he, he he was accused of um, fleecing a $1 million payment for that Houston uh, Hurricane Relief concert. Well, now y'all, Chris Brown is speaking out there saying he responded after a Houston activist confirmed that she would be taking action, honey, after the singer bailed on their event. Now, Chris said that there's been a misunderstanding after an organized of a um, benefit concert for victims of Hurricane Ida and Nicholas, honey, threatened legal action after the singer canceled his performance shortly before he was scheduled to perform. Now, Miss LaJuan Bailey, let me tell y'all, LaJuan Bailey is my classmate. She, she and I graduated together, and she was a red huzzer in high school. Nice. Are you serious? Yep, we graduated. Me and LaJuan graduated together, and she had, t- you know, when this was being planned, she had called me up regarding the situation. But, honey, she booked um, Chris Brown, y'all, she said, for that um, one-night-only concert at the Toyota City in Houston. Now, the proceeds from the event were to raise money for people who suffered storm damage back in 2021. Now, she alleged that she paid Chris Brown a $1 million advance and covered his accommodations and a private jet. Now, she also claimed y'all to have paid out a total of $1.1 million. However, she claimed y'all that the go-crazy hitmaker canceled the day of the event, which was March 19th, and she only found out during the sound check. Now, she said, I acted in good faith and sponsored this concert out of love and respect for the residents in need, she, Miss Bailey said during a press conference. She said, I'm appalled that Chris Brown refuses to refund my money for a show he did not appear to after we announced our show and sold tickets. And she also said that, you know, he just don't want to give her money. She said, quote, at this point, it is my humble belief that Chris Brown's actions are parallel to pure theft. She said, she said he has the unmitigated gall, honey, to take my money, stand up the residence of Houston, and then return to the city to perform on August the 17th, 2022. She said, my message to Chris Brown, we will not sit back and allow you to disrespect the victims of Hurricane Ida and Nicholas in need. Well, Chris Brown got whiff of that, and he responded. Now, they're saying, according to TMZ, Chris Brown allegedly sent a letter to event organizers by his legal team two days y'all before the event March the 17th informing them that he would no longer perform. Now they're saying that the letter claims that Chris Brown backed out because Bryson Tiller was removed from the lineup without a suitable replacement. This violated his contract and so Chris Brown would not perform. Now the hourly report sources close to Chris Brown confirm both sides have been engaged in settlement negotiations. They also state that the singer has offered to make a six figure donation y'all to a charity in Houston. Isn't that beautiful? So so I guess he, so he don't want to pay her back, but he want to make a donation to a, another charity organization? I, I, I don't understand how that's done. Six figures and one million dollars are different numbers. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. So right, what do you think? Man, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. It is totally different numbers. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but with him making that's, a donation. That's, that's 30, 40 grand right there. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, and, and and making it to the donation, get a promoter her money back. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, if that's the situation, exactly. You know, so you can take her money and make the donation to uh, uh, somebody okay. else. Yeah, that's her, that's her money. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to get some of the proceeds. But but then again, if the contract was forfeited and he found a, a, a way that it was breached, then he's entitled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to stay with the If you the change contract. the lineup of the show and it's in the contract that the lineup cannot change and you took somebody off that show, you're in breach. Really? You're absolutely wow. right. Yeah. So who in breach, him or her? No. Her, because she changed the lineup. He, they said she, he took yeah. Carson Tiller off, right? Yeah. That means the lineup of the show has changed. And maybe he did that show because he was on it with Ooh, him. Oh, that's too much technical. Send the money back, though? The deposit back? Uh, well, you no, you don't get the deposit back. Like, you know better than that. You, right. We don't send a deposit back. No, we're back. not getting a deposit back. Now, you might get some of us, some of else back, but you ain't getting the deposit back. <laughs> oh. That's gone. That's forfeited, for sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I guess. We'll pull the one, honey. Hopefully, she get her money. And and stuff. It's definitely going to be a legal battle. Yeah. So hopefully and they got good lawyers. Fees. Then by the time you pay the attorney fees, yeah. the legal battle, and all the extra stuff they charge you in the for. Hole. You in the whole half exactly. a million. Exactly. You might as well just say, forget it. And the attorney going to take 33 and a third anyway. Hello, or after, more. That's after the fees. That's just how much he takes from whatever the settlement ends up shaking so out you, to be. Yes. Uh, that's if you get half your money back. Talk about it. Uh, the, 
Oh, that's just too much going on, honey. I'm like, <laughs> golly. Just give, I mean, because the money you spend on a lawyer, you could might as well just go ahead and get the person back the money, don't y'all think? Instead of going through no, all that. No, because then you upset because you they going against you. So you want to fight. They, It's like, you want to fight me? Okay, I'm going to fight you. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Because you've insulted me at this point. Now they need to you go want to church. battle? They all need to go to church, don't they, Gary? They all need to go to church. They need to go to Windsor Village and pray. <laughs> <laughs> they need to go, honey. They need to go around there and pray, where honey. Bishop, where Bishop Walker at? We need him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> honey. Village. Yeah, that's where they need to go. They need to go and pray, honey, and ask for forgiveness <laughs> and all that other stuff that comes to there, honey. We fall down, but we get up. Come on now. All right, moving on, honey. In other celebrity news, y'all, oh, I'll be glad when this is finally over, y'all. Chris Rock, y'all, they say he's finally addressing <sighs> that Will, slip, Will Smith slap, y'all. He said it hurt. Now, they say Chris Rock addressed Will Smith slapping on it at the Oscar. They say anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face, the comedian joke during his set at the um, uh, recent event. No, he said, I'm not a victim, he said, mother. He said he went on saying that he shook that mess off and returned to work. He said, yeah, that mess hurt, he said, because, but. He said, I shook it off and I went to work the next day. I don't go to the hospital, he said, for a paper cut. Unquote. Yeah, yeah, don't know yeah he, 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 he took it like a G. And he handled the situation like a G. Yeah. But when he said he don't go to the hospital for a paper cut, so that means the hit was probably bigger than a paper cut? You don't go to the hospital because you got slapped. Right. Oh, is that what he said? It was yeah. non-threatening. Right. Oh, well. I'd be glad when this is over. Did y'all think it's going to ever be over? Are they going to ever mm-hmm. apologize? And, go down in think? history forever. Really, Ricky? I'm, oh, Lord, yeah. Jesus. We'll be dead and gone. They're going to still be talking about it. They're going to sh- always show that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm talking, we're going to be in heaven comfortable in <laughs> the house. Okay. Ready to die that heaven and go to the next heaven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Bless their <laughs> souls, honey. The color today, honey, is one of my favorite color. My color today is cognac. On the high end, you say cognac, and on the low end, you say beautiful maple. That's your yeah. color for today, honey. But see, he just, it, but when he slapped it, he leaned and he came back. But if he would have fell or some change would have came out of his pocket or one of his shoes would have came off, <laughs> that would have been bad. Then you go to the hospital. Real yeah. bad. Morning's yeah. about the morning show up next.